My art is a big part of my life. Whenever I paint or draw, the hours just feel like they go by like minutes. My name is Winston Pangean, and I'm an artist, and I was a police officer with the U.S. Capitol Police for over five years. Making art was always something that I enjoyed doing ever since I was a child in elementary school. Now it became an important way for me to sort of document things that have happened in my life and process them too. On January 6th, I was assigned to our Civil Disturbance Unit, which is our riot gear team. We didn't really know what was gonna happen. At some point, we were called to march out to the West Front. I could see by the minute the crowd was getting larger. They continued to get more hostile and be more aggressive towards us, going first from just verbal insults and trying to antagonize us by yelling at us. You guys, you can't even call yourself American. You're gonna bring a pistol. I'm gonna bring a cannon. You wait. To pushing us, pepper spraying us, and physically assaulting us. I ended up on the Upper West Terrace, right near where the initial breach into the building had occurred. I was shocked and horrified to see that these people were streaming in. We went and tried to secure one of these doors as best we could, but at that point, I had been separated from the majority of my squad. It was just me and a few other officers, and that's where I was physically assaulted. I was punched in the face, knocked on my back, and you know didn't know if I would survive at that point. We have taken the Capitol. Is ours. They ripped and stole my baton from me. I was worried that they would take my firearm from me too and use it against me. We were fighting these people for hours, you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat. It was just complete chaos until partner agencies had responded, the National Guard finally had arrived, and we were finally able to retake the building back. The days following January 6th, I really felt like I just drifted. I just didn't really feel like myself in a lot of ways. People didn't understand what we had been through. I had nightmares, felt anxious and nervous, like I didn't want to be around crowds of people. I just wanted to be at work. That's pretty much how it was for months. I remember I had a conversation with uh, someone from a peer support group who had come from another agency to support the Capitol Police. I was told, try to get back to your routine. Try to just get back to things that make you happy. For me, I turned to my art. Really like I always had in times of just difficulty or sadness. And it took on just this new meaning for me because I had this desire to paint about my experience. So what I did was paint a self-portrait uh, of me from Inauguration Day. I would have something to look forward to again in the day, have this creative outlet where I could express myself in ways that I could not otherwise verbalize to people. Initially, it was just something that I did because it made me feel good, but it took on this meaning of being really important, not just to make me feel good, but as if this was just what I needed to do. My initial inspiration for a lot of these pieces was my own lived experience and my own observations of the Capitol and around Capitol Hill. First, I hope that people know the truth about January 6th and how bad it was for the law enforcement officers who were there, how fragile our democracy is and was especially on that day. And I hope that people will take that and never let 
something like January 6th happen again. I also hope that people see my work and think, you know, no matter what they've gone through or what they're going through, that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. For me, creativity and art has been more so than just a hobby. It is a passion and it is something that I've used to heal myself and I think art can heal others too.